Yo, what's going on, Boost? Today I'm gonna to be playing this Bush Log Bait deck combined with Bridge Spam. So if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. In my first match here, I'm only on League Eight, but I'll try to push up today, maybe to League Nine, and then tomorrow to Ultimate Champion. But first game, Goblin Barrel and Arrows, so it could be any deck. I feel like I haven't really played a lot of Bush. I played it like the day it came out, and then after that, I just kind of left it. Like I didn't really touch it. So I'm gonna be playing a lot more of that this season, maybe. Yo, he played it too soon. The goblins are gonna get like one hit nice i'm gonna bandit middle to distract dark goblin and then i'm also gonna log the barrel that one's a little bit in the back so i'll go for a log like this okay not too bad i'm gonna barrel here to cycle and get to my evil barrel i know he's gonna arrows one card off back to arrows now okay not too bad um this guy choked the first bush defense so i feel like he's not really gonna be able to defend the second or third one or like any bushes this game properly so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to get to double bush at the same time gonna bush in the back and then i'll try to have like two bushes on both lanes i'm just hoping that he plays his defense like way too soon just like that night he played on the first bush i'm gonna go for a dark goblin to snipe the knight and then i'm also gonna block the dark goblin i know he's gonna snipe it out with something so i'm gonna make the bandit dash oh that's unfortunate he played the bomb tower all the way up high so bandit didn't dash but i'll just go for skelly's middle save the dark out for like two more seconds i guess okay bush on the right um i know i said i would get back to two of them at the same time but I'll just go for the bush on the right. Okay, I'll just go for a log here. Hold up. Wait. If he plays arrows somewhere, I need to bait out the arrows. Okay, I'm going to go for princess here. And then this is going to bait out the arrows. And then I'll go evil skellies. He's only at like two or three elixir now, maybe. Okay, let's go for the arrows. He absolutely has no elixir right now. So I'm going to go for a evil barrel on the left. And then I'll go for a bandit. This game is over. Evil skellies on the right. Let's go. Okay, I knew that he had no elixir after the arrow, so all I had to do was evo skellies on the knight, counter push, and then just spam the left lane. To be fair, he could have played that defense a lot better, try to get back to a bomb tower or something, but he actually aired a three elixir, so he really had no way to defend the counter push. I'll take the win. I'm gonna hop right in. Alright, I'm in my next match here, see what deck he's playing. I'm gonna go for a goblin barrel on the right lane to cycle. Wanna get to my evo really quick. Evo zap, okay. Could be Pekka, could be Lava Hound, um, and Void. Yeah, still could be both. Uh, I don't know what else it could be, though. Maybe Mega Knight, if it's a weird Mega Knight deck. But I want to say it's Lava Hound. Yeah, going to be Lava. He played a Mega Minion, so this is good. I have a lot of pressure, so the moment he goes Lava in this matchup, I think I'll win. But what's important is I have to keep up the pressure so that he can't go Lava. That's even better, because then I'm keeping him on the defensive the whole game. That means that he just can't make the push that he needs to win the game gonna go for a ghost on the tombstone okay the valkyrie will die like really soon so it's not gonna do much for the bush i'm gonna play skellies in the middle by the way i only have two air cards so i'm gonna make sure to have one of them in cycle at all times gonna go for a barrel and bandit on the right lane he can't zap that i feel like zap's not gonna take out anything so he had to avoid and he missed the void on one of the goblins by the way so that's really good I'm gonna go for princess i have two air cards in my hand and my cycle is getting cloggy i need to like keep the spam up so I'm just gonna keep playing my stuff okay he had to zap wait a minute that's both of his spells out so now i just need to get a valk out and then i can counter push oh my god okay i have an idea i'm gonna dark goblin on defense and once the valkyrie dies i'm gonna bandit on the left lane and evil barrel on the left lane meaning that real barrel on the left and fake barrel on the right and then i'm gonna immediately evo skellies behind because i feel like he's gonna tombstone on top of the bandit so i'm just gonna try to chain off the skellies maybe okay that works uh, go, 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 don't die, don't die, yes, oh, let's go, that was genius, nice, I knew he had nothing in hand, okay, well, now he got back to Evo Zap, but I knew he basically had nothing in hand, so I just had to pressure a lot, <laughs> let's go, this guy gave up too, beating Lava Hound is so easy with these kind of decks that you just pressure and they can't, like, ever defend, they don't ever try to even defend, but this guy actually tried to defend and failed miserably. Also, that's two games in a row. Let's see if I can keep the chain going. I feel like with this deck, especially in League 8, I can definitely do like four or five question mark before I like start taking only one tower. But we'll see. We'll find out. I'm gonna hop right in. See when I find a match. All right, I'm in my first match here. I'm just gonna bush in the back to cycle. It's not really a bad play. I kind of want to like try to get back to two bushes at the same time. So I've been meaning to do that every game, but not really being able to do that gonna go for a princess on the left here I'm trying to find out what deck it is inferno dragon bomber okay this could be like e giant or it could be also 
Huh, it could be a lot of different things, like Graveyard, for example, could also be... No way, Lava Hound again? Oh my god, okay. Alright, I mean, not a bad matchup at all, but... Uh, whatever. I'm gonna barrel left, so that he has goblins on both of his towers. Okay, he had to defend the suspicious bush with barbarians, that's 5 for 2, so I'm gonna go for bush again. I'm just gonna dark goblin on the side, wait, what does he have for the bush? This guy actually has nothing for the bush. Oh, I forgot he had a bomber. And that's one hit though on the bomber not the tower unfortunately but i'm just gonna bandit on the right he has basically nothing for the bandit like i don't see him defending this okay just go for skelly drags in the middle but hey that's a lot of damage on the right look at that 1155 i'm gonna go for a barrel on the right lane i'm just gonna bush on the left I'm gonna princess at the bridge he's gonna evil barb so i'm gonna keep the evil skellies ready i'm gonna put them down now come on please chain 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 if these chain and take all the barbs i win the game here please no dude evil skellies lose a 1v1 to evil barbs now they're so bad oh that's annoying but anyways i got like basically the second tower too i'm just gonna evil barrel on the left and then try to go for a bandit pocket and then i think i'll spam like whenever he goes lava nice okay so this guy lost <laughs> i'm just gonna bandit i'm just gonna go for oh he has a rage too okay well that was the worst rage possible because now he's not going to be able to afford arrows. Not that he's back to it, but he could have tried to get back to it and then play it on the troops. But now he's not going to be able to do that. So that is going to be three in a row. This one felt the easiest because he played a lava in the back and didn't even bother defending. So I'll take the win. Going to hop right in. All right, I'm in my next match. You're facing Gabri. See what deck he's playing. Okay. Skelly's in the back to cycle. Got to get to my Evo. And then I'll just play my bush at the bridge on the right lane. Okay, Skelly's in the back as well, Evo Skelly's. Could this be a mirror matchup? There's no way, right? Nah, he already played arrows. Not gonna be a mirror matchup. I'm gonna go for a barrel on the right. He played arrows, so barrel should get damaged. Never mind, I'm really bad at the game, so I put them same lane, but yeah, next time I'm gonna put it in the middle. Okay, Skelly King and arrows and void. Oh, no, 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 no. No, this is e -Golem. I hate e -Golem. I feel like I could beat it though. I just have the pressure at the right time. But, like, it's going to be still so annoying. I'm going to ban it on the wizard to make it dash. Wait, I think I could Evo Skelly him right now if he goes arrows. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. If I go ghost on the left, that's all the more reason to go for a Skelly King on the left. And then I'll go Evo Skelly's on the right. Oh, that might be game, not going to lie. I mean, he's back to rage, but I don't know if he's going to rage at two elixir or just give up. Okay. That's still okay though, I got a lot of damage right there. Bush coming in, so he's gonna have to defend the bush or eat the damage. I'm gonna go for Evo Barrel on the left. Keep in mind, I'm gonna get the damage on the right too because it's a cannoneer, it doesn't shoot fast. So I get the same amount of damage as the left. Not really because I had better counter push on the left, but you get the point, I get like a full barrel damage. So I'll take that, looking good. This guy's in shambles right now, 1,300 HP. Okay, now I'm gonna cry because I don't think I can defend the Eagle and push. I'll try though, but yeah, I knew the moment he gets the eagle I'm down, it's gonna be so hard for me to defend, so. I should have kept pressuring, I don't know why I stopped. That's annoying. Look at the bats, they're definitely gonna be so annoying. I'm gonna go for a log, at least I knock out the shield with that log, and then he's gonna have to void an arrow, so. He can't really go for like a second eagle, even if he does, like, it won't do much. Alright, really good bandit taking out the wizard. I am also gonna go for a log down low. Alright, not a bad log at all. And then I'll go for a bush on the left here. Because I played barrel on the right. I'm not sure if he's going to arrows on those. Oh, what the? Okay, how did he mess up the Evo Skellies on Goblin Barrel? What? That was bad. I'm going to go for a bandit in the back right. He played the Skelly King like way too soon. That's going to go back. And I'm going to go one shot. Nice. That's a lot of damage. Princess middle. He's probably going to void on it. So I need to go for a Dark Goblin on this side. Notice how I'm like spreading out my troops, pause, uh, bandit on the left lane here, I'll just go for Evo Skellies on the right, fat arrows for him, but Evo Skellies are gonna lift, they're gonna defend everything, I'm gonna go for a bush, and then I'm just gonna bandit pocket, that should be a good game, like something's definitely gonna make it through here, right, right, oh, bush, come on, go, nice, okay, one shot from the bush, I'll just go for an Evo barrel, and then I bush pocket so that I get to the tower because he's going to have to arrows on the barrel. Nice. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, that should make it not back to rage on time. So I'll take the win. That kind of got scary after I lost the tower, but I was able to defend the second eagle and push, thankfully. So I'll take the win. Gonna hop right in, see when I find a match. Okay, in my next match here, facing Mert. Wait, did I just face two people with axe on their name back to back? Like at the start and at the end? I think I did. But anyways, gonna go for barrel on the right lane. Okay, see what deck he's playing? Barbarians in the back and baby dragon on the side. Nine elixir for a goblin barrel. Okay, this is looking really good right off the bat. Um, and a tornado. All right, so all of his elixir just dumped out on a goblin barrel and a dark goblin. Gonna go for a ghost on the left. I'll just go for like skellies on the right to make sure that the one barb doesn't do any damage. But it's a really good start though. I baited out a lot of elixir. Okay, let's go for the knight. I'll go for a bush on the right lane, and then I'll just go for like a dark goblin in the middle. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna have to play it in the back now. I'm just gonna go for a bandit on the graveyard. That's probably why he was also over committing. He's playing his flash shard deck. Probably freeze. So, yeah, he'll be fine on the defensive end. I feel like I could also Evo Skelly this guy. I'm not really too sure though, but we'll see. Barrel on the anti NATO spot so that he can activate King Tower, and then I'll just go for a bush. That brawler should die. Oh, a tornado. Okay. Interesting tornado though. I feel like wait, can't you activate King Tower with the bush or the goblins from the bush? Or are they too slow? They're probably too slow actually. But and he was gonna go for a ghost on the right lane. I'm not gonna go on the left. I have no damage on the left. But he's gonna knight on the right, so I'll go bandit on the left. Alright, finally some damage on the left here. But anyways, I have an idea. Whenever he goes in, I'm gonna go for Evo Skellies on the graveyard and then like pressure really hard. That way if he spells on the Evo Skellies, that's gonna be like Eight or like nine for one which is so crazy because then i can log to clean up and then i can like keep counter pushing because he's gonna have no elixir after so that's the plan right now but never mind scratch that he's actually gonna go in pretty hard so i'm gonna have to try to defend here also no mini tank in hand for me i didn't have the bandit in time so i wasn't able to block the baby dragon i'm gonna bush on the right though he's probably gonna nato yeah let's go for the nato i'm gonna bandit middle save the dark goblin yo no, it didn't tank for it. No. Wait, actually, hold up. It's at the bridge. I'm going to go for a Dark Goblin on the right to pressure. I'm going to bush on the left. Okay, that's a ton of damage. I'm going to immediately ban it because I know that he's going to cage on the left for the bush. So I'm going to get a dash on the right and get like two hits. No, only one shot. Okay, I'm going to go for a princess on the right. Give me like two with this and I would be like literally the happiest man alive. Never mind. Okay, only going to get one. I'm going to bush on the left. It's okay though, I'm still gonna win because I just have to apply a lot of pressure again like that and I'll be able to win. He can't keep up. I'm gonna barrel on the left. I'll go ghost on the left too. Bandit on the right looking pretty scary right about now. Okay. That should be easy defense. I'm gonna go for a log here, princess, on the side to snipe that out. I'm just gonna go for a bandit in the back over here to make it dash into the cage. I could have done it sooner. I don't know why I didn't, but doesn't matter though i'll just go for evo skellies here i'll go for dark goblin and that is gonna be i think wait don't freeze do not freeze okay all right all right now it's gonna be a good game because i'm gonna barrel on the right and he can't defend both lane evil barrels and i'm gonna log on the left and that is gonna be a good game finally all right <laughs> took forever to finish off that game but i'll take the win I'm gonna hop right in okay i'm in my next match here facing i man see what deck he's playing i'll just go for a bush on the right I'll just play it at the bridge. I'm done trying to get two pushes at the same time. It's just not going to happen when you're defending other stuff and like applying pressure at the same time. Okay, ghost in the back. Yo, people play stuff so early for that. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Only two hits on the tower, but I got 993 damage on the tower. That is wild. I feel like they need a fat nerf. I'm going to go for a dark goblin on the left here. Okay, should not take a lot of damage. Took like two hits so far. Yeah, that should be just about it. All right, good defense. I'm gonna go for a barrel on the left to tank for the Dark Goblin. I'm just gonna bush on the right too. Kind of over committing at the moment, but it's okay. Doesn't matter. I'm just kind of praying that he uh, messes up the defense again. He's probably gonna play this stuff too early, hopefully. Nah, he actually didn't like mistime it that bad this time, but still did it, so I got two shots. Yo, wait, how did I get two shots? I thought I was gonna get one shot right there, but I'll take, I'm not complaining. I'm gonna go for a log here. I'll just go for skellies too. Okay, really well timed skellies, but like one of them died to the skelly barrel, so unfortunate. I'm gonna go for all three of my defensive units at the moment so he can't pop the ability. Ooh, nice. I got the arrows out. 
I also wanted to get back to my log so that I spammed everything in my hand to defend the Skelly King and I also didn't want him to pop the ability. But yeah, worked out fine. So I'm just going to go for a log on the Hunter. That way, he's going to have to do something for it. Archers. Okay, wait, hold up. I could actually roll this guy right now, I think. Man, I wish I had my Evo Skellies. I would just win the game right now. But I'll go for a bush on the left. And then I'll try to tank for them with a bandit. I feel like he might mess up the bush defense again. So I'm just going to count on that. I'm going to go for a barrel on the right. And okay, let's see. Yeah, he didn't even bother defending it. Yo, that is a ton of damage. Yo, I think like five shots from each of them and the tower's down. Like, I'm not even joking. That's so broken. That is actually so wild. I'm going to go for skellies in the middle for the fisherman. I'll just go for a ghost on the right. I'm back to my bush. I can bush on the left. Yeah, I'm going to dark goblin in the middle. I don't really need to bush, but I'll just kind of focus on defense right now. I already got the damage I wanted, so just need to defend a little bit i'm gonna go for a log here i'll just go for a ghost on top of the archer and the fisher all right looking good that was really bad recruits into my princess and the ghost is kind of wild i will go for a bandit on the side though i'm gonna play my second princess on the left here i'll just go for evo skellies on those and then log on the right wait what evo skellies died to like anything though so unfortunate but all good though i'm gonna go for evo barrel hopefully get a lot of damage here go oh. Okay, Bush, come on. Bush, I need you. Bush, give me some damage. Give me some damage. Yo, yo, that's a tower. 98, wait, no, that's not a log. I need to like, I need to get a Bush on there again. That's unfortunate. I'm going to go for a Dark Goblin in the middle. Good damage though, but I need to get a Bush on the tower again, which is going to be so awkward. I'm going to go for a Barrel on the right. Just go for a Princess on the right too. Try to snipe out the Archer and the tower. Nice. I got damage. Oh, she died though. Dark Omelin on the right lane. Come on, I'm gonna keep pressuring. I'm just gonna keep going in. Wait, actually gonna have to like defend this first. I'm gonna log and then barrel on the right. Yo, that should be game though. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna end the video there. Love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.